You know, it's weird. Right now, like, the time that is my life, the current, like, state that my my life is in, um, it's, it's not overwhelmingly busy, and it's been a little while since it's felt like this. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still doing a good amount of stuff. I've got the YouTube channel, which has taken up a lot of time. I've got school, which is taking up most of my time. And then I've got two jobs at school, and I'm working on getting an apologetics club started on campus. Which, if you go to Jessup, you should definitely check out. <clears throat> but, like, really, that's not that much stuff. Like, as long as I spread it out and make sure to keep relatively close to a schedule and and keep, you know, consistently doing things a little bit at a time, I get most of the stuff done. So it's not overwhelming and it's kind of nice. And that frees up a lot of time for me to do, like, additional research for the YouTube channel or to reach out and connect with people or just, you know, do work to make this channel better. That's a lie. I've been playing video games and watching Netflix. I'm also not actually doing anything as I walk back and forth out of the shot. I'm just trying to create the cinematic look that I'm busy. Because this week I actually am pretty busy. I've got papers due this week. I'm behind on a book that I was supposed to have finished by, like, Thursday. I've got to write some more content for the YouTube channel. I've got to make sure that I'm working enough to actually pay rent here. There's, there's a good amount of stuff on my plate that I'm doing. So... I'm gonna get some work done before tonight's Andy Minio concert that I'm so excited for. I almost wasn't gonna go to this concert uh, because, I mean, not a whole lot of people responded when I asked about it a few weeks ago, and uh, I just kind of assumed that nobody wanted I kind of forgot about it up until today. Somebody messaged me on Facebook and asked if I wanted to go, and I made an impulse decision to just kind of go for it. Which, I'm glad that I am going to check it out. Um, I'm really excited for it. Andy Minio in concert. This will be a little weird outside of my comfort zone, but I'm still really, really excited. I've never actually been to a rap concert before. Have you? Yes. Yes? It's okay. great. Shelby's more gangster than I am. <laughs> um, so, we're headed out to Sacramento to go see Andy Minio in concert. For the third time today, I'm super excited for this concert. It was kind of a last minute thing that we decided to end up doing, but we're both really excited for it. I'm hoping it's going to be a good show. It's a smaller place than I thought. Have you seen pictures? I think it's pretty small, yeah. Okay. Let's go check it out. Tell me what the chances are that we show up at the Andy Minio concert and run into a bunch of people that live in the same hometown that we do. I didn't mention this earlier. Shelby and I live in the same hometown, and so do these guys. Okay, so here's the question. If you could say anything to Andy Minion, if he's right here, what would you say to him? Uh, what is his favorite Jordan? Favorite, his favorite Jordan. Jordan? What's his favorite Jordan? <laughs> okay. Oh, I know. It's hard to live righteous. That's not good. Just like, where do you go with your music, bro? It's like awesome and inspiring and just spreading the gospel. Like, I'll tell you, man. Shelby, you got something for me? Yeah, I just I really like it because it's um it's has some diversity to it. It's really different. Um, you got that Spanglish in there, and I like the cultural diversity. Uh, you know, white boy who's Italian, but who also speaks Spanish. Like, okay, all right, repping the bay a little bit. I like your music. Oh my gosh, I love your music. So <laughs> And when you gonna when you gonna collab with that Neff? That's my question. That's my. Question. I say, man, can you get me to the front of the line? Because it's hot out here, bro. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to run into people that I know, but Anthony here is actually a fan of the channel, and he's somebody that I know from home. Uh, so if you could say one thing to Andy Mineo, what would you say to him? Dude, what's with the $5 charge to get in here? I already paid $25 for your ticket, man. I love your music, though. Andy, man. Andy, man. Love your music's music, dope, man. man. Dude, one of the first Christian rappers that's actually good that I've ever heard, man. Super legit, man. I like your stuff. I like your style, man. Keep it up. You make Straight me really bars. uncomfortable. <laughs> that's all I got to say. Straight bars. Bars, bars. I like your song. 
We are so excited! Woo! I'm a new fan, but like instant, like classics, whole catalog. Keep it pimping. I hope you're working on a new project. Can't wait to hear it. Andy Mino is awesome. Andy Mino, we love you. We're here to support you. Amen. Let's go, Andy! Zach Town! Let's go! Zach Town! Martinelli for you. One team, Martinelli. one dream. Martinelli. <laughs> So I love your music, man. Appreciate you. Continue to do what you're doing, man, for the grace of God. And um, I look forward to seeing you inside, man. Let's get it. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Uh, can't stop, won't stop. Where the brakes at? I give him that ditty bop. Like, take that, take that, take that, take that. I'ma put in work. I'ma do that ASAP. Throw my faith in rap. But it say, don't say that, huh? What I'ma turn down for? I feel like Shaq and not for. Breaking glass in that back. Say my name is Minio. Say it with me, Minio. Okay, great. Two forks high, raise the stakes. Risk it all, I take the hate. This the winning team. Get the Gatorade. My guy good, but he's not safe. Nah. All right, so I don't actually have the rights to use that song. So, Andy, if you manage to see this, please shoot me an email and let me know if I can get the permission to use that song. That way, this video doesn't get taken down. Um, I'm going to hurry this up because my uh, video camera is about to die and. I have to finish the vlog. So, that concert was incredible. I can't hear anything right now. I'm partially deaf, I'm pretty sure, but I gotta make it home. Andy, I love what you do. If I don't see you again in this life, I'll see you in the next one. You're awesome. Your music touches people in the ways that I hope to touch with this YouTube channel and what I do with the rest of my career. If I can, like, if I can hit my followers in the same way that you have hit yours, then I will be absolutely satisfied with the way that the way that this has played out in in the world. Uh, I can't express how much I love you and what you do and everything that you set up there. It was real, and uh, keep doing what you're doing. Um, <clears throat> so that is the vlog for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. One more thing, I almost forgot. Last night I could have done anything. I didn't have to go to the concert. There's plenty of stuff that I could have done, a lot of stuff that I should have been doing. But I'm definitely glad that I went. I engaged in a culture that was outside of my comfort zone, something that I'd never experienced before. I engaged with people, and something that Andy said last night on stage uh, really got me thinking. Um, he said that he, he could perform in churches, and he could do all these performances for free, but he goes to these places because he wants people, not just Christians, but people of all kinds of worldviews, people from all kinds of different backgrounds, to come and hang out, listen to his music, listen to what he has to say. And he, he uses his platform to reach people, not just to sing to Christians that already believe what he believes. He uses his, his gifts to, to glorify God. Um... That's what I want to encourage all of you to do. I, I want you to reach out and, and even even if you're you're busy with with caught up in your own world, go out and reach out to other people. Uh, don't just don't just sit in your own bubble. Get out there, engage with people, talk to people, learn what other people believe, share with them what you believe. Yeah, I I just wanted to share that part. Um, I spent like half of the night editing this vlog so that I could post it today. Um, spread the word, share it with your friends, let them know how awesome of a time the concert was. We want to try and get this, this vlog to Andy, so uh, jump on Twitter, jump on Facebook, tag him in, in this post, share it, send it to him in whatever way you can. Just get the word out there so that he can see this post and, and we can let him know how much we love him and how much his fans just absolutely adore what he does and is proud of him. And get yeah, Andy, we love you. Uh, all right, that's actually the end of this vlog. So thanks for watching. You can't stop me! Ooh, that's all you got.